Hello, hello, hello. Hey guys. Welcome to the channel. This is me, Elle. And today we are playing Diablo 3 Season 33. Awesome, right? 3, 3, 3. <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's get in the game and I will show you um how I play the season. Okay, I, I'll just say it that way. Okay, um, I hope you're all doing well and this video is going to be a video of me playing a greater rift. Okay, I will try a greater rift 115. Now, let me show you my gears. I am using my favorite um, gear set, the Tal Russia. And... Let me see. I am wearing... Okay, the set is full ancient, mm -hmm. but none not upgraded. The only thing I upgraded... Okay, where is the upgrade coming from? <laughs> Here. This one, I upgraded this one. My Stone of Jordan. And this uh, weapon. This one is not ancient. Just, just legendary and also this one. Because, yeah. I have been lazy playing the game. Okay, so. Um, we are... The season 33 doesn't have any unusual or rare weapon or any other stuff but it has something to do with um, the shadow yeah that is the theme of uh, season 33 is the shadow or meet your shadow so um, my skills are can be seen right here right uh, the familiar meter which is really um, a sort of uh, the inherent skill for the Talrasha set. And I'm using uh, the magic weapon, the magic missile, and the storm armor, which for this is for defense. And my passives are Unwavering Will, Galvanizing Ward, Paralysis, and Elemental Exposure. Which is necessary for the Tal Russia set. The paralysis is for stun. And my cube, amazing for season 33. We now have four slots in the cube, because normally we only have three. And this is what I have in the cube. I'm, I'm testing this now. Primordial, primordial soul. Which gives us 10% additional 5% for the stacks of the Tal Russia. Which is the elemental exposure. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have the Mempo for uh, the meter boost there. And I have this Karini for my de defense, which is the Storm Armor. And the Grand Vizier for uh, the meter boost in damage and in reduction of arcane power or mana. Okay, so we are going to attempt a solo level 15 Greater Rift with this setup. And no no uh, what you call that I just said it earlier no upgrades no upgrades to the gear besides uh, the web the ring one ring and um, the weapon by the way oh yeah so the jewelry I'm using is the Traveler's Pledge. 
on the compass rails. Mm -hmm. I'm using the full tile Russia set, including the source. And the brace. And using the pauldrons for sort of, uh, yeah, defensive. Because I'm not using unstable anomaly. And this is for the shields, the blood bracer. Okay. So I am using my weapon. It's the Aether Walker. And reasoning for that is because I needed to teleport. That doesn't... That I do not need to wait, you know, for it to cool down. And that is the reason why I'm using it. But, you know, I could actually test not having this um, weapon. For now, let's go ahead and just do a Greater Rift 115, which actually we can't, so not yet. Let's do 114 instead. Okay, I think I have... I have... Um, ready? Then your trial begins. Prepped you already with my But at this stage, like 110 plus, uh, most of the mobs or the bosses, or not the bosses, but the um, elites are uh, mostly reflect damage. So for a wizard, it's kind of painful, really when it is reflect damage because there is nothing much for us to do but our skills, right? And that is um, reflect damage. It's really painful. I must, I must wait longer. It's a juggernaut. And it's a jailer. I, broke I must wait longer. And it's poison enchanted. That one is painful. No, the uh, board. of this uh, season. I really love this season by the way. It's just that oh, still up to luck. <laughs> if you chance upon that uh, particular 
future for this particular season which still is Okay, that is two uh, floors already. We didn't encounter any. Need more time. Let me just find first. Been into a rift with no shrine in it at all. This is great. Okay, so we are not seeing any shrine. We will have to work on it. This is kind of dangerous. Wait longer. Your grave awaits. Is I'm going to show you the beauty of this feature of the season, but we are not seeing a spring. And how are we going to do that, right? Unless we go to a, a different and leave all the that they are also reflect damage so obviously I won't be able to Still make wait. this let's just leave this floor for the meantime oh there you go it's there this is what I'm trying to say this particular feature of Season. That would have been nice if it was there in the four elite sphere. You see 
It is easy to show that this is a drop in the and you can see how it melts it. Though you cannot bring these, um, you dare attack me. The shadow into an edible So, for us to be able to enjoy the um, works of. I got overconfident. So. I wish what I could do that. Oh, no, no, no. So painful. <laughs> I'm getting. <laughs> I must wait for that with this. You know, this. Um, is a wizard's uh, bane. Um, spearman Spearmen are a wizard's bane. The Rift Guardian is here. Oh, yes. Fudge, see, that was like one. Need more time. Good thing we have a lot of time. That was one. Eh. Not ready yet. No. You have triumphed. Ah, unfortunately, though, I did. <laughs> Because, yeah, that was not very good run with the uh, not so many when the champions, if you have a gem, let's see the gem. shrines that we saw, that we had. You had too bad last minute we died. I am returning to town. All right, so we are going to do it again, and we are going to do one one five. This Your time. skill has grown. I didn't think I could get any better. 
so hold on guys i will go i'm going to take care of this i'll be right back okay guys now we are going to do one more fight <laughs> Unleash your power, champion. Okay. I need more time. Okay, that was the... It's not reflective. Is you see those? Uh, this is electric chat. Electrified. And that is painful. And says that there is a old old enchant as well. And this more is that is this? is um So this one is uh, electrified also, and all of their shielding, so this will take forever to do Let's get this shielding. See, shielding, frozen, vortex, electrified. shielding or the dirty vortex and see how that that died very fast ah what the never mind guys <laughs> that was like at the edge of the room of the that particular room yeah room how do you call that field of map and yeah we just lost our just lost the shadow because yeah it doesn't carry over to the next to the next room 
become very unfortunate. Very early right now. In the morning, and because for some reason I got woken up now. Ah, uh, very very early. It's like I I don't even wanna talk. And, and, oh, I'm not supposed to be making videos. Okay. I have been wanting to do this, and uh, I have been doing it because I didn't want another game. Can reflect damage that would be really difficult to deal with if I didn't have the shield. But yes, we did get the shield. So cool. That is actually a lifesaver in greater hits when you come across a shield and shrine. Which I, uh, you dare attack I me? See with this, uh, with using the meter is uh, it really sometimes is really a sword to the eyes. 
and if you are not used to it, it can really get overwhelming. Like sometimes I cannot even see if there is um like round um stuff happening here in the like at least the uh, poison you can see it clearly because it's green but like for instance the uh, old enchanted uh, or anything that is health health this uh, particular uh, it's really painful Erithon is poison in pandemics. But it hits you, it's really Now that is a level 115 GR solo with barely any and I'm here to help. Great, right? I only have that and this upgraded. Now I can upgrade them all though, but I just decided not to because I wanted to test. And yes, you saw my testing, right? I can solo it with barely any upgrades. Now, I'm not sure though if I can still do that. We didn't die right to so Done. Wait, did we die? Hmm. I cannot remember. I am returning to town. Ancients would be proud. Um, let's see. Did we get anything important? I don't think so. But, hmm. Nope, 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 nope. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing in fact full at all. Okay, so the goal of this video really is to do a Greater Rift 115, and we have achieved that, right? So let me you show you the season, <laughs> what does the season gives us. This is what the season gave us. So hold on a second. 
Let's go to the season journey. And this is the pet that comes with finishing the season. We have the portrait frame and this extra one. If you do not finish up to the guardian, you finish only up to this point C gives you that. And does it change? Oh yeah, see it changes. And look, see changes and there. So at the last part, see it's already like intense gold. And this is a bonus one. And of course it also gives you a stash. I cannot get the stash anymore because I already capped the stash a long time ago. But I'll show you the pet. Uh, which I do not really like. <laughs> Here. I mean, what is... What is to like there? Okay, let me get it out. Can I even see really? Okay, hold on. There. What is that inside there? Is it a, is it a salamander? A lizard? Yeah, probably a salamander that is like encapsulated in this, um, like some form of um, entrap. Uh, uh, what is the name of this? Um, there is a particular name for this, and that has like legs. Yeah, I usually see that in labs. Alright, so yeah, you've seen that guys, the season. Okay, let's go and do a... Ha, what did I just do? Let's do a... Um, a fun run, a fun... I always take a look at which one is lower and I'm going to do that. This is Caldeum, let's go. Do Caldeum. Just so you can see the fun in this, uh, okay. Trying to say, I'll, I'll show you the fun in in the season feature, which is uh, meet the shadow feature. Because uh, the shadow feature of this uh, particular season relies on or depends on being able to see the shrines or find shrines, right? But if there are no shrines, also kind of. Is it? it doesn't. It doesn't show it. What the hell? We are using the pet. Let's change that, please. Our pet will always be this hard-looking cutie. Tainan, Tainan, the tiny. So yeah, as I was saying, it's way too early. Right now. That my brain is still kind of safe. Your defenses are nothing! <laughs> And yeah, this is the time to be sleeping, but oh my goodness, I need to make it. Oh cool. Da 
that particular visions of enmity has stayed in in the seasons, meaning all the seasons now will, will have the visions of enmity. Because you know the order is um, you know, when the season gives it or when the season has it, not all the time. But now it is more like a uh, permanent feature to the uh, seasons, Your grave including the altar, I think. Although, of course, the, the altar resets. It's, like, it's not like it doesn't reset. So it will reset every season. It will Always be like new. Once in a thousand years, oh, when what? the stars align, there is treasure. Come on, I didn't want to do it, but yes, my power grows. I don't know. We're supposed to. Do? We need to find the vault. How right? to find the vault? To find the ball, the ball is up in there. We have time. I don't have enough arcane power. There. Need more arcane power. What? There is a second? Oh, wait. Wow, we really found it. Oh my goodness, I didn't know. That was already the vault. A powerful enemy we have laid low. Coolness. <laughs> Still waiting. That's pretty cool. I didn't expect to show you that. Didn't see that coming, did you? Missions now. I am so good. I astound myself. Oh, man, the visions is too short. Unfortunately, it's done. Hey, come on, Pep, you are so lazy. What are you doing? Too short a vision, a vision dungeon for the energy dungeon. But it's okay. You dare attack me! I need arcane power. Me? Okay guys, for some reason the video just messed up for a bit. So yeah, you didn't see that part 
where I uh, finished the bounty and I collected it and even got into another uh, enmity. But anyway, you actually see all of that, right? I mean, all of those things have already been shown in the earlier part of uh, when we found a vision of enmity. But you see, as I said, I have already this Whisper of Atonement uh, farmed so I can um, upgrade all my gears. The Nil Force. Uh, Nail first boost, boast, which is the boots. <laughs> that was a tongue twister. Nail first boast, which is the boots, yeah, is uh, legendary but not ancient. So I kind of upgraded this, and this is what I have been farming for. And this bracer also, legendary but not ancient. We can only upgrade using this Whisper of Atonement when it is ancient like this. So I can al already upgrade that, but I have been reserving uh, the time for upgrading because I wanted to test, yeah, the GR15 without it. The upgrades to the gears except the weapon and one of the rings. And, well, one of the rings also is not ancient, so on an upgrade, this we can, that we can, and the boots we can't. So, yeah, I am also going to, well, we, ha we have to say that because we have done the 115 GR. So, I will try to do 116, 117 until I can't do it anymore then that is the time I will upgrade. Although, for now, I'm really not playing a lot. So, this game, I just wanted to get this video out because, you know, I've, I've been thinking to keep a memento of every season that um, I have played because... Um, how can I show you? I show you the um, season. Yeah, I have shown this before. Um, where do we go to see the season career? Ah, uh, I don't remember. This one? Summer? What the? I forgot how. <laughs> Where, you know, you can see all your um, characters. I can't see it. Mm. I don't remember how. Oh my goodness, why? No, definitely not an option, but... Oh, it's in the profile. I have to get out of uh, that for me to show, to show, but... Yeah, it's in the profile. Um, but um, in in that, I really haven't done that, you know, taking because I just started making videos like that must probably been season twenty something, twenty plus could have been yeah and, and so i miss all the other seasons right so and i didn't even take screenshots of that i i have really played with um quite a number of cool uh, players that i met in this game and i really haven't even gotten screenshots of all of them which is kind of uh, sad because i'm kind of you know i'm in that i guess uh appreciative <laughs> of the games I play and more conscious and aware of the, the games that I enjoy playing. So I would like to have a memento or remembrance of those. And so that's why this video needs to 
be done. But I have not been constantly playing right now. So anyway, with all that stuff I've been saying, I will have to end the video now <laughs> because, yeah. Uh, that is really what I wanted to to show you the particular the GR115 and maybe later when I get to like GR120 maybe I will again make a video I don't know because there really there is nothing much to see as far as the feature of the game if the season 33 is the shadow and that is all once you you have the shrine you will see it right and the visions of enmity it's just a repeat and yeah the altar I haven't done anything more to it oh this is my first video right of the season yeah i i will have to show you my uh, altar before i log off and this is i'm stuck with this the ancient puzzle ring for some reason i cannot i cannot farm this so i started uh making crafting rings so i could um upgrade it right but even the upgrades just wouldn't give me i use my blood shards in kadala also and it's just not giving me any ancient so i'm stuck here and so where am i at my altar i'm only up to this now i can i am i can actually sacrifice if i break all my uh, pr uh primordial yeah to make into primordial ashes right i have i can cover this already i have three to break so that's pretty much done right but even if i do this and i'm lazy to play the game i'm kind of a, i feel like the the primordial a uh, the primordial a, the primal, not primal, primordial, the primal items that I have. It's kind of a waste to break to get the primordial ashes because you know why? The the things that you can get with primordial, uh, with, I mean the primal things, you can actually use them no limit. You can equip them with no limit if they are drops. But if you craft them, there is a limit to what you can wear. I can't remember now if a set of weapon, only one you can, you cannot craft another one like this or the jewelry, or is it really one for all of this? I cannot remember. But what I know is yeah, you cannot wear a crafted primals. In, in your gears, like many of them, you can. So it is good that I have that and will keep it and will not break because, you know, imagine if I have one, I can use right one primal and all of them are drops, then yeah, I will be wearing all primals. And how amazing is that, right? So, and that is why I have now broken down the, the primals to make into primordial ashes and so the altar stays that way because yeah i have not been playing so much so yeah farming the the puzzle rings will yeah it's not easy no i have prime i have um, rings where are the rings where are your rings see i have these now i can re reset it right reset Dug up some new things for you to take a look at. Reforce. I can reforce, but look what how many it it asks. It's forgotten fifty, forgotten soul times fifty. Right? And the ring. But that's fifty. Uh, that's probably fifty forgotten souls would probably be like one vision of enmity if it's uh, really like many fours and and the reforge even doesn't guarantee you an ancient so yeah it really depends on your luck it's rng so 
I had not been really thinking about it. And besides, yeah, I was able to um, finish a GR115 without um, having all the three potions. So, yeah, it's, I, I think I'm fine. And uh, the season is, I don't know how long it will be. It keeps, it will keep going. It will probably end in in a week or or maybe not. I don't know when. Does the season run for like three months? Because if it does, so only one month has been gone. Or or even less a month a month. So there are still like two months to play, but yeah, it's already November, right? It's going to be December. It's gonna be Christmas. And yeah, I I'm going to play another game because I've been waiting for the re-release of some of the expeditions. So, yeah. So, guys, this is the time I'm going to say. Um, hold on because I'm going to read you a cult, right? So, give me a moment. Okay, so the cult for today comes from Jim Ron. And it reads, if you are not willing to risk the unusual, you will have to settle for the ordinary. All right. So, wow. That's an amazing quote. I love it. And because I am a person that really is not quite interested in the normal. <laughs> I guess because I have my north node on the exaltation. And because of that, I always take things uh, in such a way that it is not conventional. And, and in my reality, uh, amongst my peers, I am seen as probably... Most of my friends, okay, always tell me when they finally are able to talk to me. You are so mysterious. That's what they always tell me. And, you know, I have this kind of vibe that I'm kind of mysterious. And some form of, like, some dramatic effect. And I am really not intending it. It is never my intention. I am just that way because I do not I, I I do not like normal things you know even in fashion uh, whatever the fashion or the fad is I really don't buy into it I have my own style I have my own way of doing things I have my own way of setting um, things up and yeah basically doing things I, I do it differently than other people and I am not shy about it, and I am also not rubbing it in their faces. I mean, I'm just doing it the way that I like it. So, can I say that I am willing to risk the unusual? Well, I'm not even risking it. I am embodying the unusual. Uh, although, it just comes with a lot of disadvantage. A lot of disadvantages that I am this way because I am always misunderstood and I am always walking alone in that path of uh, difference, being different from everyone else. I am always walking alone in that path and that can be lonely at some time. Most of the time it is lonely. It's a lonely road, the solidarity path. You are unique and you are, you have the freedom to be yourself and to be who you want to be. But then you are kind of um, secluded or kind of doesn't feel like you belong. Which is so Aquarian, you know, it's like how Aquarius is. They want to be in a group, but when they are in a group, they feel like they are like the observers of this group. 
They want to belong, but they really do not belong. So kind of the paradox of wanting to belong and not belonging. So, yeah, I I think um, for, for this code, you know, you will have to settle for the ordinary. Yeah, because, I mean, if you are following the crowd and you are always wanting to be with the crowd, then if it's a mass kind of effect, then, you know, it's an ordinary thing, right? The people will be wanting to do that. But there is this, um, where is your individuality and your originality? That will not stand out. So I suppose that's how my take is on this code. So anyway, guys, I hope you have a good day or a good night and everything will be well for you and better maybe, hopefully, manis- manifesting that. So until my next video, have fun, enjoy life, and yeah be overwhelmingly beautiful and awesome all right so this is me waving until then